Good morning, people. Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to my YouTube channel here, Virgo Witch Goddess. Time now is 3.30 a.m. July 30th, Thursday morning. So right now I'm up and woke with the spirits. I'm at home at my private altar, my spiritual altar. I had to call out of work last night because I was feeling a bit under the weather with this whole... Um, We've been uh, receiving quite a bit of um, storms and that sort of thing. And so um, I was feeling a little bit like my allergies was acting up. So I had to call out of work last night. But um, so I got me a little rest. But now that I'm up, my third eye is open this morning. And so um, spirit, you know. Got me up on my bed, brought me to my altar. And so as I came to my altar, I began to receive a spiritual uh, download. And this is going to be a bit different because um, this is going to be like a very important message for those of you who have been trying to work on some um, type of successful business goals, right? Because um, I'm picking up on a lot of hardworking individuals, a lot of hardworking businessmen with, or, you know, hardworking men with business ideas, you know. Um, well, yeah, again, like I said, this is going to be a general reading, of course, for my Virgos, you know. And I guess you want your cross watchers is watching, that's fine. You understand what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, this is going to be a different kind of message for my Virgos, okay? I feel as though many of you are going through a change, okay? And if this is your first time at my channel, welcome to Virgo Witch Goddess, you know? So if I have any new subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I do appreciate your support. You know, I ask that you continue to stick around and stay and, you know, continue to bless this channel to grow spiritually so that we can develop, you know, um, better opportunity to become prosperous as we move ahead. OK, because um, right now, 2020 has been quite eye opening, you know, and so um many of us it's like when we are home behind closed doors for my virgos many of us are wanting to plan for the future to become successful how can we become more successful right but then when you step outside or you turn your tv on every time you turn your tv on it's like, you know, everybody is speaking on the same subject, right? Everybody is speaking on the um, the pandemic of what, what's going on around the world, the things that are affecting us and that's, you know, damaging us and tearing family, people, places, and things apart. And so now we are being affected with this um, this health crisis, and yes, it is scary at times. I, I will say that, to say the least, because I know now, even at my job, we have all these posters up that say, you know, if you have a cold, sneezing, runny nose, you know, sore throat, anything, coughing, don't come to work, don't, don't enter the building. <laughs> and so last night, the reason why I called out of work is because I woke up and my allergies, you know, kicked in. I sneezed like two, three times. You know, my nose went to acting up. And I had a bit of a little, uh, like a scratch in my throat, you know, itchy throat. And so um, I just got through drinking me some coffee. And um, so I called my job, you know, and I'm like, you know, speaking to my boss, like, okay. You know, a part of me want to kind of work, but then a part of me wants to also respect this new criteria that we're going through that says, you know, if you come to work, you know, sneezing, runny nose, you know, coughing, allergies, we're not allowed to enter the building. 
And so I didn't want to risk going into work last night and have people looking at me like I'm crazy, you know, because now this time of day, you can you can't sneeze. You can't you can't cough without people going to panic mode. Right. <laughs> so I told my boys, you know, because we was caught in the rain. We've been having some bad rainy weather. And so the night before I was caught in the rain a little bit, you know, a few chills and stuff. And so I felt a bit damp, a bit dreary, you know, came home, took a nice hot shower. But, um, you know, I told my boss, I don't want to, I'm not going to come to work. I'm going to sleep this one out, you know, just drip me some tea, some soup, that sort of thing. And take, you know, take some medicine and catch up my rest because, you know, day one, let me nip it in the bud. <laughs> you know, so my advice to the people where if you, you know, if you're feeling a bit down, don't force yourself to go to work you know take that time off get you some rest you know medicate yourself sleep it off and then go back to work next day feeling okay all right but moving into this reading um this is really going to be a career reading okay um a spiritual cleansing moving forward because let's talk about what we have in these cards okay and so um for many of my Virgos, okay, whether you're male or female, okay, what I'm feeling is though um, with this high priest Virgo is that you are listening to your intuition and you are listening to your gut. And so spirit is saying definitely pay close attention to your, your intuition when it comes to uh, those around you and people who are trying to um, affect your, your, you know, um, you're thinking moving forward, okay? Because you may have people that are jealous of you, that envy you, people at your job who just don't like the fact that you out here in the spotlight and you going forward. And you got some people that's like wanting to talk about you and put you down like, oh, look at them, look at them, right? They being petty because they jealous, so they hating, right? So the hell with them, okay? Tell them to kiss your ass. Don't even, don't even say nothing, you know what I'm saying? Block it, you feel me? And so long story short, Virgo, is that um, Spirit is saying, listen to your intuition at this time, okay? Because the wheel of fortune is turning on your behalf, okay? Because a lot of my Virgos behind closed doors, you are on hermit mode, right? And so right now, yes, you are the queen of pentacles where you are focused on your coin spiritually, okay? And you are the queen of wands taking back your power, Okay, because you're not falling for the okie doke or the BS that people are trying to um manipulate you with. And so um my other phone has been acting crazy for some reason. I'm sorry about that, you guys. It's like I don't even understand what's going on. Yeah. I'm trying to relax, listen to my little jazz music. And so that's what I'm saying when I say jealousy. <laughs> it's okay but anyway and so um like i was saying right now virgos a lot of you queen of pentacles focus on your coins right queen of wands taking back your power not falling for the okie dokie yes you are the ace of cups when it comes to uh wanting to start up your own new beginnings you know because new beginnings don't always have to be about relationship and people wanting to have a relationship with you a new beginnings can be simply you working on yourself, you know, new beginnings, you know, ace of pentacles, um, having what you need to move forward, you know, and supplying yourself to be successful. OK, because many of you, you're manifesting what you want as far as your own dreams and goals. And so what this star card is like, um. You be wanting to connect the spirit when it comes to your hopes and your wishes and your dreams, you know, dreams, wishes and hopes, things that you want to take place in your life moving forward. OK, and so many of you are manifesting your own dreams where you got this magician card, where you are becoming your own magician. And so therefore, a spirit is blessing you with the strength that you need at this time to move ahead and move past your enemies. Because like I said, some of you have some jealous people around you who can't stand the way you look, you know, because you might carry yourself a certain way. So you might have people that, you know, despise you because you're beautiful. 
and you have this beautiful character and personality and persona about yourself. And so people don't like the fact that you got this positive energy about yourself. You got this positive light and love about yourself. You're seeking wisdom, right? And so you got people who want to destroy that image inside you. Okay, but people don't understand that you was born this way. Spirit created you this way. You was born with this gift. You was born with this talent. You understand what I'm saying? And so although you got people who don't understand that, because people tend to judge others off of material items, you know, where people might look at you and say, well, this person don't have a car or this person's car is raggedy. This person don't have a house like I do. This person lives in an apartment. I got a house. So this person might put you down because of the material things, okay? Because this person may have a house and you live in an apartment. So that makes you less than. This person might have a car, you taking a bus. So that makes you less than. You understand what I'm saying? Or you might have a small car and this person has a truck. So that makes you less than. You know, so people tend to judge you because they see, they in their eyes, you don't have nothing. So some people label you as not having a pot to piss in because, you know, they have more than what you have materialistic on the outside. But what they're lacking is what you have on the inside, is what you was born and blessed with. You understand what I'm saying? And so people want to, they want to tear you apart and um, damage you because you have what it is you need on the inside in order for you to become successful on the outside, you know? And so... A lot of times you may not see your gift that you have inside yourself because you're busy looking at other people from the outside. You're looking at the material things that you see that other people have that you want. But spirit is saying to relax and be patient because your time is coming. Right now, spirit is taking you one step at a time, one day at a time to bless you with the things that you need okay and so right now many of you are going to be with this sun card you're working toward being successful okay and so you are the queen of cups where you are listening to your intuition where some of you are very intuitive okay some of you could be an empath yourself and not aware of it okay and so spirit is taking you on this new journey and this new quest this new beginning seeking new connections networking and fellowshipping with people like-minded business people like yourself who wish to be on the same ladder okay with this eight of cups and yes you may be in the spotlight because people are taking to your love and your light and your wisdom and your beauty okay with the six of wands okay so in the um, process of moving forward, will you meet somebody new later on? Yes, somebody brand new is going to come into your life at the right time, unexpectedly. This person will be like-minded like yourself, think like yourself. This person and you will have some things in common, okay? And you will recognize this person because, like I said, this person will be like-minded. Their thoughts will be like yours, okay? And so, yes, you will have a ten of cups with this new person, okay? Right now, do you have an ex that might be spying on you? Yeah. Some of you, I picked up on um, Cancer, Taurus, <sighs> that I saw that for some reason that's kind of on your chart. Others of you may have an Aries that's also on your chart, you know? Um... What spirit is allowing me to put before you, Virgo, is that many of you have a ladder. And on this ladder that spirit is blessing you with, spirit is saying that this ladder comes with a staircase. And on this staircase are steps, okay? And so right now, many of you have already gotten past, you know, step one, step two, step three. And so you're climbing this ladder, okay? And spirit is saying, keep going, okay, because it's just beginning. We've only just begun, okay? And so a lot of you also have loved ones who have passed away and have crossed over. And so many of you want to know, have any of your loved ones crossed over to the other side? Yes, they have. They're still way to heaven. Your spiritual loved ones have crossed over to the other side. Okay, they have climbed the staircase to heaven. Okay, they made it. Okay, 
So a lot of your loved ones have received their honors. A lot of your loved ones who have passed away, who have passed away, um, graduated. Okay, they graduated with honors on the other side. And they earned their degree to cross over <laughs> to the friendly gates. Okay. And so what I want to bless my Virgos with at this time is going to be about um, spiritual knowledge. Okay. And so now I'm, I'm, I'm picking up these cards over here because spirit wants to do a new thing in my Virgos. Okay. And so it's like virgos we have um different things called growth okay and so a lot of my virgos who have been following my channel for some time you all have earned this uh new development when it comes to growth okay where you are now earning your seeds okay and so right now what i'm about to do is i'm getting ready to introduce you to the seeds <laughs> And so I want you guys to, um, when you get a chance, you know, if you have a couple of days off on the weekend, you know, take a day off to work on these seeds because now I'm getting ready to talk to you about some seeds that spirit was wanting to plant inside you. Okay. So let's talk about some of these seeds. Okay. Because spirit is wanting you to be thankful and have understanding. Spirit is wanting you to pay attention to the rainbows and the messages that comes within those rainbows. Okay. Spirit is wanting to you wanting you to be uh, noble and have self esteem, be determined, have victory, understand that you will conquer. Okay. Spirit is wanting to bless you with prosperity, uh, prosperity and compassion. Okay. And so what I'm laying out right now, these are going to be your spiritual messages coming from spirit. So what I want you guys to do, like I said, when you get a chance, I want you if you're in your local Walmart or in your local flower shop, um, Take, go into the plant, the garden section, and start learning how to shop for some seeds, right? And I'm not saying to plant them, okay, because all of us don't have a green thumb. But what I'm saying is go into your local garden shop, flower shop, and just buy some seeds. You don't have to plant them. Just keep them, okay? Allow these seeds to be, become a part of your, um, your herbal package, because for many of you, you're not aware of um, what DC stand for, which I'm about to show you. Okay, so yes, I'm taking out some new cards. Okay. And so I'm taking these out to show you what your spiritual messages are and i know it's going into almost 20 minutes on this video okay so i may just stop this and then start this over and pick up on the second part too okay virgo so i can upload it all right so i'm gonna stop here and I'm going to put these cards down and then I'm going to have a part two, okay? Because I don't want to go past 20 minutes, all right? So let me stop here and then I will pick back up on the part two, okay?